What's going on everybody? You back rocking with Sweet Science, you're on the air. YouTube channel Sweet Science 702. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, make sure you get all your post notifications. Um let's get into this. So what I'm gonna talk about today is the heavyweight trifecta of Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua in that order too now when I say in that order I mean that's the order of the heavyweights Deontay Wilder is king top heavyweight Tyson Fury is second AJ is the third best heavyweight now you have people trying to clarify and justify well, AJ has most of the belts. Listen. The man lost the belts already to a guy that would not beat Tyson Fury and would not beat Deontay Wilder. Period. If you think that Andy Ruiz at any point of his career or Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder's career would beat either one of those two, you don't know anything about boxing and you don't know what you're talking about and you have no business watching this channel and you have no business talking boxing. So AJ lost to a guy who was out of shape, fat, that he shouldn't have lost to. That's first and foremost. So I think that put things in perspective on the heavyweight chain of command. Anthony Joshua was the third best heavyweight. He was just in a position due to a rematch clause to get his belts back. And that he did against a guy who was fatter than he was the first time by 15, 20 pounds and stated in his own words that he didn't train for the fight. Okay, so now that we got that out the way. First, I wanna start with Tyson Fury. We gonna break him down. Tyson Fury has not fought, and if he has, then do name him, aside from Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury has not fought a top 10 opponent in the last four years. He definitely did his thing against Vladimir Klitschko years ago, 2016. It's a new decade. Um, and he's also not the lineal champion. A lot of y'all just regurgitate stuff that y'all hear, especially y'all UK fans. Y'all UK fans are the worst because y'all never know what y'all talking about. Um, Tyson Fury's not the lineal champion. To be the lineal champion, you would have had to beat a unified champion. Now y'all say, oh, he beat Klitschko. He did beat Klitschko. At the time that Tyson Fury beat Vladimir Klitschko, was Vladimir Klitschko the unified champion? No, he was not. He was not the unified champion because he didn't have the WBC belt. Do you know who had the WBC belt at that time? Deontay Wilder. So to be the lineal champion, you have to either be suspended and or retired and come back after beating a unified champion, whom of which Tyson Fury has not beat a unified champion. The last unified champion that was a heavyweight in boxing was Lennox Lewis. Tyson Fury has never fought Lennox Lewis. Therefore, Tyson Fury is not the lineal champion. So let's get that out the way right now. He's not a champion at all. He doesn't have any belts. So that's first and foremost. So Tyson Fury is not a champion. He hasn't fought, aside from Deontay Wilder, a top 10 po opponent in the last four years. He also hasn't knocked anybody out in a very, very, very long time. So, y'all UK fans who try to feed into this narrative, he's going to knock Deontay Wilder out. He schooled him. I can go get a 7th grader from middle school or a 5th grader from elementary school and let him punch me 112 times. And if I punch him one time and the fight's over... Who won the fight? 
Sure, he hit me a bunch of times. In Wilder Fury 1, I don't ever recall Wilder being hurt. I recall Fury being hurt a few times, and one of those times was very seriously. To the point that his wife was in fear of his health. So that's first uh, about that. Um, Wilder definitely got robbed out of Wilder Fury 1. This whole 10 rounds to 2. It's funny too because most you fans, UK fans mostly, aren't even fighters or boxers. Have never fought anybody in your life. And if you have, you ain't been beating nobody up. Y'all just hear this information and you try to run with it and regurgitate it. It was 10 rounds to 2. You don't even know what you're talking about. You ain't scored no rounds. You didn't look at the compu box numbers. So it wasn't 10 rounds to 2. Dumbass. For those first 4 or 5 rounds, there was no definitive dominant force in those first 4 or 5 rounds. Now, that's Tyson Fury. Hasn't fought a top 10 opponent in years. Hasn't knocked anyone out in years. And is not the lineal champion and did not beat Deontay Wilder. If he did, he'd be the WBC champion, which he's not. So that's Tyson Fury. Now, he's talking about he's going to knock Deontay Wilder out this time. Well, I'd like to see it because in all actuality, if we want to talk about who should have won and who should have lost, Tyson Fury lost his last fight to Otto Wallen. A bum, a nobody, who almost got them to stop the fight, which they should have, over a massive cut over Tyson Fury's eye, whom of which, if Tyson Fury's defense was that great, he would have never got hit with that shot to cause that. So, that's first and foremost. If you want to try to say that that was caused from a headbutt, watch the fight again. They show the replay. It's caused from a punch. His defense is not that great. <clears throat> Tyson Fury's the second best heavyweight boxing. Anthony Joshua. <clears throat> what is Anthony Joshua's claim to fame that everyone says? He fought five champions in 23 fights. Okay. Okay. So first we'll start with Charles Martin. Who the fuck is Charles Martin? Charles Martin is a bum who cannot beat Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury or anyone. I, I, I doubt Charles Martin could even beat a, a Povetkin. Charles Martin's nobody. That's who AJ got his first belt off of. He fought Klitschko for a vacant belt. Now, they say, the UK fans mostly, and I'm I'm riding on UK hard today. I don't really like y'all. Uh, the UK fans mostly, Wilder beat Ortiz, and Ortiz is 40 years old. Okay. So I got some facts for you bums to go look up. First thing. Vladimir Klitschko was 41 years old when he fought Anthony Joshua. Vladimir Klitschko was 41 years old and off of a loss when he fought Anthony Joshua. Vladimir Klitschko was 41 years old off of a loss and a two-year layoff when he fought Anthony Joshua. So the narrative that Luis Ortiz, who was undefeated, and Vladimir Klitschko was not undefeated is 40 years old is that's that's that argument is null and void so we've got that argument out the way joseph parker joseph parker had a barn burner and arguably lost to andy ruiz if you think joseph parker would beat deontay wilder you're a hater you probably don't like black people or you don't like american swag black people you don't like to see kings do king shit. And you're an idiot. You don't belong in boxing. You don't deserve to talk about boxing if you think that Joseph Parker would ever beat Deontay Wilder. He'll get knocked out. You UK fans. So that's another one for Anthony Joshua. He... Then beat Joseph Parker for another belt. Carlos Tacom. Who is Carlos Tacom? Do y'all really want to make me pull up where they were ranked at the time that they were fought? Carlos Tacom's nobody. 
It's not anyone of note that he beat. Povetkin. Garbage. This is Povetkin 10, 15 years ago, maybe. Povetkin's garbage. Joshua's beat nobody. Joshua's claim to fame is Vladimir Klitschko, who was older than Luis Ortiz. Off of a loss and a two-year layoff when he fought Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua lost to a fat man. Had to run from him the second time. He was exposed. He's not good. They try to say all the time, you UK fans, Waller doesn't have technical skill. His skill. Such and such has more skill. Oh, this guy has more skill. This guy has more skill. If that's the argument that you want to use, that's fine. If that's the argument that you want to use, everybody has more skill than Deontay Wilder when they fight him. But what's the end result? The end result is they all get knocked out. If you make good gumbo, and I don't know how you made it, but it was good. The ingredients, I don't know what they were, but it turned out good. Doesn't matter. The gumbo was good. So it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um. So Anthony Joshua was a paper champion. He has no heart. Fury's all mouth. Tyson Fury's a drug addict. And he's a drunk. AJ's a paper champion who has no heart. Deontay Wilder is the boogeyman of boxing. He's the face of boxing. He's becoming the new cash cow, the new cash king. Deontay Wilder is the king of boxing. So, that's my words for today. Again, you rocking with Sweet Science, you're on the air. Subscribe to the channel, Sweet Science 702, and with that, I'm out.